for me, the conversations around being obsessed with community always came up. So talking about how community was important to me, talking about, you know, we'd watch movies and I'd be like, oh, I love that movie so much because everybody came together and it was all about community and they were so focused on being present with their friends and family. And that's the kind of stuff I talked about over and over again. So I was like, oh, community is important to me. Yeah, so just pay attention to like, what are phrases or conversations you have over and over and over again? Another one was health for me. I talked to everybody about health. Whenever somebody complains about getting burnt out or uh, that they're not feeling good or whatever, I'm I'm super into herbs. And so I'll like make teas for friends. And it's just always been something that I do. And I'm like, oh, I'm really passionate about health. The more that I can do research on it, pay attention to my own and help other people with theirs, the happier I feel. Which then is the second way to find your value is when are the moments that you just feel so lit up on fire? Like those times where you're like, oh my God, this is what I'm meant to be doing. And it doesn't have to be like a service or a job kind of thing. For me, it was, you know, when I make teas for people, when I do research about health, when I'm painting, any of that kind of stuff, I'm like, I can do this all of the time. Like, it's, I just love doing this kind of stuff. Those pieces that fulfill you don't have to be monetized. And in a lot of ways, it's better to not monetize them so they continue to bring you joy and don't make you feel stressed out. Like for me, it was, you know, like making teas or reading about health. Like I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not gonna give you doctor advice. I can say, oh, I read about this. Or, oh, I can throw these herbs together and make you a tea. And it brings me a lot of joy. It makes me feel really happy to do those kind of things. But I'm not starting a tea line. I'm not doing any of that kind of stuff. It's just something that brings me joy and it makes me happy. And and it, when you notice those things that fulfill you, those can also be the things that you're scheduling in your time, in your schedule. For. So when I know that I love to make teas, I need to make sure that I have time in my week to do a little bit of herb mixing because that's going to bring me joy and make me feel whole.